This is a magnetic compass and is used for navigation. Needle is a soft magnet and is deflected when other magnet is taken near it. If I take this insulated copper wire near the compass, what will happen? <laughs> Nothing. It will not deflect. Copper wire is not a magnet. Let me pass current through this wire by using this AA battery. I will keep this wire near the compass and connect both ends of the wire to each terminal of the battery. When circuit is completed, the compass needle gets deflected. When we disconnect the wire, it returns to its original position. This is very important finding. Current carrying conductor generates magnetic field. What if you don't have a magnetic compass? Try building your own with paper and magnetized needle and try this activity for yourself. Now that we know current flowing through a conductor generates a magnetic field, we can build a small electromagnet with nail and electric wire. If about 100 turns of a plastic insulated wire are wound around a nail, remove the plastic coating from the bare ends. Hold the bare ends of the wire against the terminals of 1.5 volt battery. What will happen? Now the nail will pick up some paper clips. While the battery is connected, nail is a magnet. Clips are detached when battery is disconnected. It is more scientific to say that magnetism accompanies electric current. Will it attract more if two batteries are connected next to each other instead of a single one? Does the number of clips attracted depend upon how many times the wire is wound around the nail? Nail we used becomes a magnet for a short time. Did it also have a north and south pole just like a regular magnet? How will you verify? One way to do it to use our magnetic compass. Does reversing the current reverses the poles of that electromagnet? When iron filings are sprinkled and ends of an electromagnet are briefly connected to the battery, the filings will form a pattern typical of a magnetic field. Try comparing strength of magnetic field by connecting more than one battery next to each other. When paper and needle compass is placed in a loop of a wire and a current is passed through that loop for a brief time, there is a deflection of the needle. While coil conductor is briefly magnetized, the compass needle is pushed sideways by the force fields. This is the principle on which galvanometer is based. We can build electric bell which is based on electromagnet. Thin galvanized mild steel sheet is cut into strip. Plastic bobbin used in sewing machine is taken and thin coated copper wire is wound around the same. Wire is wound around 400 times. This is fixed to plastic container with nut and screw. One end of this wire is connected to the strip while the other end is connected to the terminal of the 6 volt power supply. Another copper wire is placed near the strip and its end connected to battery terminal. When copper wire is pressed against the steel strip, circuit is completed and screw becomes an electromagnet. It attracts the metal strip. This action moves the metal strip away from the copper wire and breaks the circuit. Due to tension present in the strip, it returns back to the copper wire. Once again, circuit is completed. This cycle goes on forever and we hear an electric bell like sound. Try building similar bell using everyday things around you. Summary We learnt about magnetic effect of the current. Current carrying conductor generates magnetic field. Electromagnets are widely used in industry from lifting large loads to running trains, etc. Challenges we saw current carrying conductor was able to deflect the compass needle. Will the needle deflect in the same direction if we switch the ends of wire and connect it other way? A maglev train contains permanent magnets that are repelled by strong electromagnets in the track. The force of repulsion causes the train to levitate above the track. Can you try building one?